I'm actually looking for uh, good food around this area. Taxi drivers. Some people say they know some of the best food in their country. At the border, I thought it's a great way to discover what kind of food this country has to offer. Hello from Fukuoka, Japan. Before jumping into the second episode of the Taxi Uncle series, I have very exciting news to share from our sponsors today. I'm personally very excited to share this news because one of the most famous pianist Hayato Sumino is coming to Singapore from Japan to have a concert on October 12th. For those of you who don't know him, he has won many, many international awards and I'm personally a big, big fan of him. Um, I'm a fan of Studio Ghibli music and whenever I listen to him play it, I get goosebumps. He's amazing. He's doing a solo, but it almost feels like he has like a whole orchestra behind him. It's that grand, the music he plays. And I'm very sad I cannot make it because I'll be traveling. But if you can make it and you want to pamper your ears with top-notch music, I really recommend it. Uh, the ticket is affordable too. It starts from $40 only. And for those of you who are interested, we have exclusive coupons for you guys. Uh, we got 20% off coupon, 30% off coupon, and even giving away three pairs of VIP tickets. I have all the details in the description box below. All right, thank you so much for listening. Let's get into the video. Do you think you can suggest me a uh, uh, do you know like a uh, non-touristy like a very uh like hidden gems i heard drivers know good food okay 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 can you take me there oh ready yeah yeah 10 10 seconds i thought you were ready no worries Welcome to Red Hill. It's a residential area located just three stops from Tanjong Pagar. Due to its proximity to the city center, it attracts a good mix of expats and locals. I personally know some Japanese living here. Thanks a lot. Huh? Have a good thank day. You, huh? you too. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, so that was the shortest taxi ride in my whole life. Uh, the fare was 4.35. It was quite expensive for 10 seconds but welcome to Red Hill Market I think I've came here before uh, what, what is this do you know this is uh, they call it the opera this is the festival of the gods festival of the gods ah, yeah very nice, huh? It's called Wayang. Oh, Wayang. Oh, y interesting. Y-A-N-G. Chinese tradition. Yeah, this is Chinese Hokkien. Hokkien. Yeah, we oh. have Cantonese, we have Hokkien, we have Chichu, we have K, ah. we have all dialects. And you are? I'm Hokkien. Hokkien. Uh. Now we are speaking Hokkien. Oh, I see. This is Hokkien opera. Right? I'm, I'm looking for good food at Red Hill. Do you, food, what do you recommend? Uh, good food, they have many, but depend what you like to eat. They have chicken rice. What's your favorite? My favorite is, uh, they call it uh, chicken rice also. Chicken then rice. And they have the noodle. Noodle. Fish noodle. Huh? Ah, fish chicken rice noodle. and fish noodle. Chicken rice they have. Thank ah, you, thank you. Yeah, take care. Have a good day. Thank, thank you. you uh. Thank you, Uncle. Bye. Bye. I'm liking Red Hill so far. Friendly uncles. Okay, I think it's my second time here. The food is probably good because look at the birds. They're enjoying it. Quite spacious as well. But I think I want to look for the chicken rice and the fish spawn noodle the uncle was just saying because I always don't know what to get. <laughs> There's so many stalls. I think I'll try this one. Longji traditional Hainanese chicken rice. Looks good. Can I get the small steamed chicken rice having here? I take this fish and All right, found a nice place. I love how there's an outdoor seating and great music over there. Okay, so this chicken rice cost me 3.5 Singapore dollars. It looks pretty good and I got the whole uh, set of the condiments. Let me try the soup first. I think it's quite interesting they put cabbage, right? Mm, mm. I think I can, I think they can put more salt. Look at the chicken. Wow, it looks so moist. I love how they put a lot of coriander. Mmm, wow. The chicken's great. The skin is tender, it melts in your mouth. And the, and the meat, not too tough, 
it is breast meat, so it got that nice chewy texture, but wow, it's just nice, it's delicious. Okay, let me try the rice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think they can put a bit more flavor, but it's nice. Mm, still nice. But maybe they don't put too much salt because they're meant to be eaten together with the chicken and the condiment. Put some chicken here. Some chili. And the ginger sauce. Yeah. Mm. So I feel like after putting all the condiments, the saltiness level of the the rice is just nice. And the chili is so darn good. And I love stalls who provide the ginger sauce because I know some don't. And when they provide that, you know it's pretty darn authentic. Overall, great chicken rice. Okay, round two. It's okay. Thank you Enjoy so much. Head. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My viewer gave me. Free sugar cane. Thank you so much. <laughs> so refreshing. Okay, next one, I want to try this because I'm not really familiar with this dish. Can I have number one? Yeah. Eat here again. Look at all the collection of the containers. I assume uh, every container has different type of soup inside. I got a type of herbal soup. I think the name was like Buddha jump in the, the sea or, or something like that. But I'm not really familiar with all the ingredients inside. It looks like tofu skin. And if I dig in, I see yeah, a chunk of chicken, mushroom, and I think that is a uh, fake abalone. We start with the soup. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is so good. The soup is just packed with that chicken flavor. I taste uh, a lot of different types of herbs as well. Wow, it's just so good. On a cold day like today. But let's find out what this uh, tofu skin thingy is. Ah! Okay, I think I know what it is. I think it's fish mop. Let me, let me know in the comment if I, if I got it right. I think it's fish mop. Mm, yeah, it's just so spongy and it sucks up all that great soup. Mm. Let me try the chicken. Mm. As expected, very tender. What a great flavor. I kind of regret not getting the rice because this will go well with rice. So good. I'm so glad I tried this because now I have a new option when I come to Hawker Center. I don't know, I just always go for the chicken rice, Hokkien mee, bakute, all the standard option. But this with rice will be a great lunch or dinner. I found another interesting stall. It's called Hok Chun Homemade Clay Pot Curry. Quite interesting, right? Okay, thanks a lot. So this is it. It's amazing how they put each serving in the clay pot and boil it. So much work for four dollars. And the bread is 80 cents. Wow, well, look at how gooey the curry is. I love the consistency. Very thick, I can tell. And a lot of meat too. Like two chicken wings, two drumsticks. That is so thick. Oh, and almost creamy. I can definitely tell the onion is melted. And the potatoes too. Wow. I think that's how they get this consistency. Oh my god, this is so good. One of the most thick curries I've ever had. Let me try the potatoes. Wow. Next up, the chicken. Mm. Oh, 
my chicken is good. It kind of reminds me of Japanese curry. In a way, it's kind of sweet, but I feel like it, it is more spicy. Lots of different types of spices. Mm, coconut for sure. Wow. This is a hidden gem for sure. Or I don't know, maybe it's popular, but it's my first time, never heard of it. Let me dip my bread inside the curry. Look at that beauty. I kind of tell like the consistency is like almost like cement, right? Super thick. Mm. I love it with the bread. Like the flavor is definitely different from the traditional um, curry chicken. It's more milky, more creamy, more sweet. I mean, that's ogi. Wow. I highly recommend this stock. Very good. Many people say Singapore is very expensive, but that's like going to New York and saying America is expensive. No, it depends where you shop at. Check it out. Only $6 for these beautiful t-shirts. $5 for that. $1.5 for that. And if you run out of money, you can buy some lottery here like the like the locals do okay i still have some space so let's hop on to the second taxi you wanna go where, huh? uh actually i'm looking for good food around here good food ah uh, around this neighborhood anywhere market can around market can okay so at the market what do you recommend eating uh, what's what's your favorite my favorite la, sometimes is meat, sometimes is rice. La. Ah. How is it living in Singapore? Okay, la. you are from which country? Japan. Wait, how many years in Singapore already? Uh, three years. Three years. But here, I, I never come here. <laughs> never come here? Never come here. Okay. La. And how long have you been driving the taxi for? My driving taxi, I drive for 20 over years. La. 20 over year. Wow. No plan to retire? How to retire? Uh, <laughs> correct. You see Singapore, everything now expensive also. Yeah. Everything increase, increase, increase. Last time one three dollar can eat already, but now four dollar. Right, inflation. Uh, ah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank A lot of the stalls are closed, but I think I found an interesting one. Hi, Joey. Hello, hello. You work here? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, nice. The guy who works at the stall recognized me. Is there any interesting uh, menu you yes, yes. recommend? Which one do you recommend? Mm, recommend you can try the ching tong. It's one of our most oh. famous dish. Uh, what is it called? Ching tong. Cheng Tong, oh! Okay, I'll get that. How yeah. about coal? Uh, coal, please. Coal. Yeah, thank you. Alright, so I got something called the Cheng Teng. Not really familiar with it. Uh, I chose the, the ice one. I don't know, it looks like shaved ice with some kind of like brown syrup. Mmm! Mmm, I think it's some kind of herb. Let's just dig in to find out what's inside. Yeah, ooh, what's that? Look what I found, some kind of treasure. Mm. Yeah. It's barley. Oh, interesting. Oh, I think I, I think I just had mochi ball as well. And I think that's long gun. So I guess it's a, it's a type of a fruit and herb dessert. Very nice, very refreshing. So my viewer who works at the saw just now, he told me the recipes are from his grand, grand, 
Pa? Yes, Grandpa. I just love how it's not too sweet. Okay, I'll end the video here. Uh, please let me know which neighborhood I should visit next. I really enjoy making this type of video because it takes me to somewhere new and there's no expectations. I don't know what I'm going to eat until I'm at the location. So let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye. Jipulanzao Liao. I don't know why I just panned there. Bye.